welcome to the Everlast channel. I'm Bob Moffat, Ram Nation 58. Today I'm at Jesse's Casa, his shop. It's pretty nice in here too. He has allowed us to come up and uh, do some demos. Everlast Cyclone 212. Today I'm gonna run the stick side of things. I have the leads disconnected right now. I'm gonna turn the machine on, show you how to set everything up. I'm gonna run a couple of rods here. Uh, three of these rods I'm gonna run on DCEP. Two of them I'm gonna run on DCEN. I have a 100 amp set. For this first electrode, I'm gonna run a 330 second 7018. I want 85 amps. I don't really want any arc force in this rod. 7018, we wanna run nice and soft. We've got hot start. I'm gonna set this time value at a half of a second. Hot start percentage of amp. Well, if I have it set at 30% at 85 amps for a half of a second, that's gonna be a, a nice hot start and then it'll go away after a half second. All right, this first rod, 330 second, 7018. Struck the arc with a slight sweeping motion there, trying not to get it stuck. I'm holding a short, steady, or I should say short arc, like I'm barely touching the plate at all times. Pretty smooth. 332, 7018 at 85 amps. I like it. This next rod I'm gonna run, this is a 8045 P2. This is a low hydrogen rod as well, but it's designed to run downhill. But I'm gonna run it flat, see what it does. It's an eighth inch electrode. I do know these require a lot of amperage. So I'm gonna to go to 135, believe it or not. I'm gonna leave these other values alone. I'm gonna weld right next to this. So this corner of the plate is already hot. Kind of an appealing arc. I hope that the bead shape and the bead profile is nice. The deposit is clean as well. My experience with these, some of these rods are prone to porosity on the start and uh, the stops. There's some of them you're supposed to whip out of real quick. They all have their characteristics. This next rod I'm going to run, I'm going to run on EP as well. This is a 332nd 309L-16. This is a 309 rod I'm going to run on EP. I expect this to run real smooth, quiet, buttery. Produces a heavy, dense slag that stays hot for a long time. I know that because that slag has found its way down my shirt a couple of times. I'm forcing myself into a bad position here with my hands. I think that's a little hot. I think that needs to be turned down some. But I'm not one to beat the crap out of my slag as I'm the one to get a burnt if I do it. The slag become a projectile. Find its way up into my eye or on my lip or something. Kind of pretty. I like it a lot. So these last two electrodes I'm gonna run, uh, the 6013, I'll probably go back up to 85 amps. I'm gonna change these leads. I'm gonna put the electrode holder on the negative side. Let's go back up to 85. Running on DCEN, in my opinion, it's depositing more filler metal quicker. I like running it downhill. It's good for sheet metal, soft penetration, easy to strike, easy to restrike. I like to teach with this rod. Now, people just starting out, build their confidence with this rod. Very easy to run. Thank you. Smooth little deposit. This last rod, the old hog leg, 7024. This is an old, old rod. It doesn't have any numbers on it. It has a yellow paint dot on it, and that's about it. I can tell you that's an old rod. We used to call this rod a drag rod. Set it down, drag it. I'll tell you what, that looks better than it sounded. But I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna go back to EP. 
switch this back to electrode positives. I want to hear the difference. That was real snappy and harsh sounding for some reason, but it, beautiful deposit. Again, I look for that dancing line right back here behind the electrode. If I see that, then I know that everything's running pretty smooth. If I see that line back there, I know that all the slag is going away from the pool. Last thing you want is this heavy, dense slag to run out in front of you. Again, big, oh, look at there. One chunk comes right off of there. Heavy deposit. Beautiful. Another good rod to teach with. It does lay down a great big deposit though. All these rods, and especially this, uh, that 7024, you get some good fresh ones. It's kind of prone to arc blow at times. So of all these polarities, EN, EP, I'll take advantage of that sometimes, but my preference for doing 7024, uh, 7014, I really like running them on AC. Again, EN, Good deposit. EP, good deposit. Hardly tell the difference in the two of them. Mostly by experience and everything. So if you're unsure of where to set certain electrodes, you go over here, you have a power set. Set your electrode diameter. You set your material thickness. You have choices of a couple of different rods here. So that's a quick guide if you're unsure about how to set up certain Electrodes, that's going to get you pretty close. Again, I set them by experience. Been doing it quite a while and kind of got some numbers stuck in my head. Uh, anyway, that's, a, that's kind of an overview of the DC stick side of the Cyclone 212. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm learning a lot off these little machines. I, uh, I need to dive into this thing, do some maybe some projects or something. Very beneficial, very quick to set up. Fun to run. Well mean, well green. Try to behave. I'm Bob Moffat, Everlast Channel, Ram Nation 58.